There's some very cool brain imaging studies done with jazz musicians who were improvising in Scanner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe, I could be wrong about this, but I believe there was a, a very strong deactivation of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Um, whether that's the brain region or not, the interpretation was that these uh, musicians are incredibly good at shutting down their sense of self-consciousness, self-criticism, or self-analysis, and they're just fully in immersed in the moment and letting whatever creative skill they have just express itself with ease. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, it's not clear that that's necessarily a mindful state. Yeah, but that's I'm, what I'm just thinking. Yeah, that's go ahead. closer to a state of flow, maybe. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so the difference between those things, that would be more for the experts to talk about. But but it seems it seems like the the concept of kind of shooting back and forth between these different kinds of states, between different levels of self awareness. Um, not to make it sound all esoteric or anything, it's just that you're th you're you're allowing yourself to be inhabited, just totally in the music, or you're kind of checking back in to see what's happening, to check your direction, and maybe make a recalibration, and then to reimmerse yourself. And that happens like really in the fraction of a second. And it's not even clear whether it's it's not always clear to me whether or not it's even useful to be aware that that's what's happening, uh -huh. right? Like because. You don't always want to know how the sausage is made, you know. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I think you think about like um, you, about great geniuses. When, when I think about like you know, I'm thinking about Miles Davis or something. Like, there's no way that guy was you know like, well, I don't know. Who knows what he was thinking? But but um, or what his brain was doing. But we're not all Miles Davis, and so uh, it has been useful for me to add. An, this like, feels like another tool in my arsenal. You know, another weapon that I have that I can. When, when I started practicing mindfulness, it just it kind of put more of a name mm -hmm. to that process of kind of stepping outside your experience and taking a snapshot. And then to be able to have that just kind of really in your tool belt for when you you might need it, um, especially helpful when you're collaborating, but even on your own, even on my own, I'm, I'm thinking like, you're, you, you know, you might be stuck up against a wall, you know, and, and then just to step back and just, oh, you realize that you've gone down a, a kind of a rabbit hole here. And so then you, you go back to what worked. And, and um, so it can help you, I I think mindfulness can help organize your creativity mm -hmm. maybe and uh yeah 